fun note to self. Don't even ever say fun fact again. To avoid sounding like a scholastic reading club article from the 90s. It's true though, being way up in the Greenway North, these come handy for keeping things warm. Oh, you can store hot water from the summer for heating the winter and ice from the winter to cool in the summer. So handy, in fact, the tank farm once saved my life. One winter, the polar vortex brought down a hundred days of minus six degree wind from the upper atmosphere. When the North Atlantic current started breaking, due to climate change. It was so cold your fingers could, would go black in frostbite. In minutes then my entire place was buried in 10 feet of snow. I had to sleep in one of my tank farms on a mattress of wasabi plants and flower cuttings. Let me tell you, a bed of rubbers is not as comfortable as it sounds. To be honest, I just like to receive the rubbers on Valentine's Day for once. That's my biggest problem with being way the hell out here in the middle of nowhere. That's why I'm making it this stupid VR video blog thing that's turning out to be a, more like an infomercial for off-grid organic farming. Oh shit, I hit stop wink a few times at the green triangle for playback in the virtual display. I'd just like to receive some roses on Valentine's Day, says a mouse girl staring into her tie-dyed Canadian hippie skirt wearing a ridiculous matte black starship trooper helmet. I finally am typing after 20 different revisions. I close my eyes and hit the reply button. Oh God, no, nobody's going to go on an e-date with that, Sally. I spend the next five minutes scanning back and forth through the animated rainbow, through the animated rainbow shaped ribbon of the virtual video editor trying to cut that whole depressing clip of the video. 20 bystanders. I just look like a lunatic, leaving my hands around in the holographic display like I'm swatting non-existent bugs. Good thing no one's around to see this. Nice cans. Suddenly a comment appears. 
just blow my VR video, my VR video channel. Someone was watching. My heart dropped into my shoes and I get that feeling I get when I have the recurring nightmares of being naked in front of a crowd of thousands at a TED talk. The whole internet knows you, you're not only boring, but also desperate and possibly a psycho. I slap the headset and bang on it with my fist hysterically, half remembering some article on how Hillary Clinton wiped her emails by smashing her phone with the hammer. It's no use. <laughs> A glowy cartoon art pops up next to my video. You have one like the virtual screen informs me. I face palm in defeat. Perhaps I hallucinated all of that. All of this. Maybe that first comment. Maybe that first comment is some sort of automated message from my life room site so people don't feel bad about no one watching. Nice tanks, I mean. The tank farm. Cool setup. Another comment appears just below, disproving my theory. It's like a slow motion car crash. This comment, comment is from the same username. Dread Potter Burke. Who the hell is Dread Potter Burke? This little reply window stares back at me. Hugs. Huge and terrifying. <laughs> I can do this, I say to myself, and take the VR headset off, tossing it onto a table, onto a bell of hay, go back inside my house, and curl up into a fear position on my bed. I open up a William Gibson novel.